A mother and child murdered last week in another case of domestic violence are laid to rest today. Melissa Ball and her eight-year-old son, Graydon, were both shot and killed by his father, Eric Whitmore, back on Thursday night. News Channel Line's Kelsey Bagwell was there when motorcyclists led a procession to their final resting place. She joins us now live from Varnell, Georgia. Kelsey. Calvin Kim, it was very moving to see hundreds of motorcycles lead that procession right here from Dalton to Chatsworth, all of them wearing purple to raise awareness of domestic violence. Family and friends are remembering Melissa, a dedicated health care professional and friend to many. And Graydon, a lively second grader who couldn't be caught without his Nintendo DS in his hands. To celebrate their lives, their family requested motorcycles to lead their funeral procession. More than 150 motorcyclists answered that call and led them to their loved one's final resting place. At the family's request, the bikers wore purple t-shirts and bandanas to spread awareness of domestic violence. Majority of them had never met Melissa or Graydon, but it's important to many of them to support others during their times of need. To any violence to children, it just really tears the heartstrings and I just, I just want to come show my support. The Whitfield County Sheriff's Office says Eric Whitmore followed Ball and their son Graydon to a Shell gas station last Thursday night. Whitmore and Ball were arguing when he shot and killed their son. He immediately turned the gun on Ball and then himself. All three of them were pronounced dead on the scene. Police say the pair had a history of domestic violence and were not together when this tragedy happened. But bikers today say domestic violence needs to stop. If you're someone who's been abused, cry out, we'll be there. And, and for goodness sake, just we do not want to see any child get hurt at all. Eric Whitmore's family says they will hold a separate service for him at a later date. It's not clear when that is going to happen. Reporting live in Dalton, Kelsey Bagwell, News Channel 9. Okay, thanks, Kelsey.